Hi Gemini, welcome to your May 2023 uh, Life Sector Tarot reading with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. There is no astrology in these, so watch them for whichever sign you feel you need to. Uh, and remember, they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So I'm going to pop these to the side here. For your actions and plans, you have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Cups, and you have the Page of Swords. So for a lot of you, it looks like there are um, interviews taking place this month, which could be great. It looks like a lot of you are setting something into motion, but it's like you're getting all of the paperwork ready first. This looks like the culmination or the completion of something that you've actually been, maybe not necessarily grafting at, like, because that suggests that it's hard work, but this is like a labor of love that you've been steadily just plugging away at, right? And it's like, I don't care how long it takes me, I'm just gonna keep going and keep doing my thing. What this looks like in the end is it turns into um, the, 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 what you've produced for yourself is a wonderful experience and a potentially a meeting, an interview, or a connection of some sort that absolutely goes to your favor. So I'm really here for that. I also forgot to mention, happy damn birthday to you for those of you that are May born to, uh, uh, Geminis. I truly hope you have a wonderful solar return. Remember to fill the day of your birthday with a little bit of all of those juicy things that you want for this next year ahead. For your um, career and communications, you've got the Five of Swords, you've got the Four of Wands, love this, and you've got the Seven of Swords. So this is you coming out the victor, right? So if you've had any kind of uh, dispute, challenge, issue with a boss, with a co-worker, um, you know, maybe you caught somebody chatting shit about you behind your back, whatever it is, you will have reasons to celebrate. That four of wands right in the middle shines brighter than any of the shit that does either side of you, right? The five of swords, dispute, challenge, issue, seven of wands, uh, seven of swords, it was five of swords, dispute, challenge, argument, etc. Seven of swords, lies, deceit. But that four of wands in the middle, it's kind of like whatever goes on around you this month when it comes to the work sphere, you are so unbothered and unfazed that you're just kind of like, you know what, I'm sitting pretty, I'm, I'm doing good. There's nothing or no one that's gonna be able to knock me from the, the happy pedestal that I'm on at this moment in time. So I'm totally here for that. Now, when it comes to your, um, those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, it happens every so often, unfortunately. Sometimes we have a teacher or a lecturer that just doesn't seem to like us or believe in us or, you know, whatever the case might be. And there are times where they will lie, uh, where they will, you know, and every, they should be above all of that stuff because they're teachers, right? These are people that ultimately, you know, parents, families and students put their trust and their faith in. However, they are still human. And, you know, that means that sometimes they can be real shit bags, you know, excuse my language. Not all of them, of course, there are so many, um, gosh, there are so many wonderful teachers that I've had in my life that were patient and kind, even when I was a little shit. <laughs> you know, that, that really did their best to support me. Um, however, this does look like a problem, an issue or a dispute that you've been having with a teacher or a lecturer, or maybe the institution itself. And it's like, now you hear news or something shifts or changes, you get the, you know what? we're siding with you or we, we, you know, we're gonna go in your favor. So this could be some welcome news on that front. Uh, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, similar situation, only this is likely to be with colleagues that are actually jealous or have spread a load of crap around you, around uh, about you uh, in order to maybe discredit something that you had said that you didn't even realize was incriminating for another person. This feels to me like something that somebody else has taken really personally. And rather than just come to you and try to settle it sort of person to person, they've kind of just gone on this whole sort of, um, 
I don't want to say witch hunt, but you know, a bit of a campaign to slander your name. Don't worry about that, because you know, when the time comes, they're going to fall on it. When it comes to your uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, if you've had any kind of challenge to, uh, especially for those of you that are going for like a permanent space for your business, or uh, maybe a website or a web domain or whatever, if you've had a problem, an issue or a dispute with somebody over something like that, particularly around a space though, um, don't worry. If it's not that place, it will be one that is much better suited. I gotta be honest, I feel like a lot of you may have been denied something here, but now you're gonna realize like, oh yeah, actually, you know, this is this is this is cool. So, you know, give give it some cut it all some slack. When it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working, um, I mean, look, I wouldn't be surprised if within the home, the family sphere, um, there is some kind of uh, potentially argument or dispute. That Seven of Swords sits right on top of the Page of Swords. And this does suggest that there is either some kind of paperwork or documentation that is likely to show up this month that may disgruntle you a bit. And actually that's potentially possible for all of you Geminis, although for those of you that are retired, it will probably have something to do with either the house or somebody, you know, like one of your kids, etc. If you don't have any kids, this may be something that comes in from uh, the neighbours or the council, or I don't know what you had here in the UK, we have uh, the council who kind of, you know, they take what you can, can't do, you know, antisocial behaviour, ya 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 ya, all right? Um, just to give you an example. But yeah, um, keep an eye out for that because it will be a letter and it will be an actual letter. Uh, for your uh, love and relations, you've got the Five of Wands with the Two of Swords and the Star card. Socialize your tushy off. If you are single and looking to mingle and to get out there, I absolutely advise you to do it. Um, it looks like a lot of you, for those of you that are single, it looks like you're finally going to meet someone in person that maybe you've been talking to online, all of that. Now, um, love this, right? I love it when, you know, you talk to someone online, but then it crosses over into the real world because that's when you know, yes, this is a real person. Um, the only caveat that I wanna put out there, um, just because, because, right? Um, just tell someone, not because I see anything scary going on, um, but just tell someone where you're going, you know, especially if you're a, a younger woman or even actually a younger guy. Like, I've, this is the thing, you know, we, in society, we tend to gloss over a lot of the shit that happens to men. And I think that's something that we really need to fucking stop. Um, <sighs> breathe. <laughs> If you're going to meet someone, if you're finally taking that step, love it, very happy for you. Let someone know where you're going, where you're expected to be, at what time, uh, and how they can reach you, and obviously just keep your phone on, right? Well, that's that's all we can do, right? Just manage all situations as best as you possibly can. That being said, it looks like you're gonna have an absolute blast. That star card on top of the Seven of Swords, though, does suggest maybe you get there and they're a little bit shorter than they said, or maybe their picture, you know, is a little slimmer than they are now. Everybody's dealing with a little bit of post-COVID podge. I wish I could say it was just COVID. <laughs> my mind my, my showed up a little bit before then, but uh, we're working on it, we're working on it. Um, all jokes aside, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, where you've had a problem, a challenge, or a dispute, over a long-term or longer-term uh, plan or ambition that you had as a couple, you could get that ship back on its right course now. It will take some wrangling, right? You you are gonna have to, to, to talk it out, which is something that you do very well anyway. Um, just keep that in mind, all right? And then for your money and materials, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful with the seven of pentacles, lovely, right? That is, that's a payout of epic proportions, right? So that uh, lover's card, that's you, Gemini energy. 
The reason I love this though, is because the Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Pentacles, that's a payout for some decision, some hard work, some effort that you've already put in. This is a very juicy, very sort of tasty payout that shows up for you where you're kind of like, yeah, I fucking did that. Um, so I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, it does suggest as well, the, the finances, the money that come in this month, if it's surplus, which it's likely to be, um, this is not a month to be frivolous, all right? You can do that in June, not here. May, put it aside. Be really conscious of how you use the money that comes into you or in for you because you may want to put it to something else. It's not a case of, oh, you know, well, you get this now, but you're going to be broke later. It's not that. You just be sensible with it because it looks like there's going to be something that you want to do later that may require that extra boost of money that you've got. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, um, I love this for a lot of you. Now, Seven of Pentacles with the Lovers card, that is working on or working with your arms, your hands, all the stuff that Gemini rules, right? For uh, others of you as well, it looks like you're going biking or bike riding or potentially purchasing a bike to do, you know, workouts at home. If you've got a Peloton, give me a shout. Um, <laughs> I'm not affiliated in any way, so don't worry about that. Um, do you know what I mean? Like, it looks like you're working A, on your cardio for a lot of you, and the other way that it looks, the other thing that it looks like a lot of you are doing here as well is really um, working on your upper body in particular. Uh, maybe this is your posture, maybe it is your, you know, how your, your dexterity. It looks like you're really focused on this at the moment. And then finally, when it comes to your home and environment, I love this for good news about the price of your home. I love this for good news about where you're at when it comes to purchasing a home. For those of you that are renting and have no plans to buy or are not in that position at this moment in time, you realize this month how attainable or achievable that goal actually is should you make a select few tweaks and also should you find the courage and the guts to go after it. So I love this for you. I actually think things are in a very good space for a lot of you over the course of this month, even with those communications cards. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Happy damn birthday to you. Take care and I'll see you soon.